Greetings and salutations everybody. My name is of course as usual Shihono Ryu and what we're going to be doing today is episode 5 of Let's Build a Fishing Village which has kind of turned into a lot bigger than I had originally planned but uh, <coughs> we're rolling with it anyway. Um, since the last episode I've made these two houses here and a house here and a house here. Well, actually just these three houses. So kind of build them really close together so you can get some alleyways in here <clears throat> and what we're going to be doing now is building this house so this house is going to be a normal like we always usually do um, we're going to make it uh, two stories with these uh, little side offspring things and I think we're going to make a little balcony on this side but we're going to do it like we normally do we're going to raise these two and then bring it across with the frame anyway so I wanted to talk while I build about something something that happened. I'll give you guys a little story anyway. Um, and the story is based on why I hate the dentist. Now I know you guys are probably thinking everybody hates the dentist, nobody likes the dentist. Well, I have a reason to not like the dentist. Now most people just don't like the dentist because people don't like people to, you know, putting stuff in their mouths and stuff, you know, who likes that? I mean, if you do, that's, that's that's your own business, but but I don't anyway. But I have another reason. So back a couple years ago, like maybe a year ago, you had little military policeman um, Shihonaru over in North Carolina, and we had a field up, and it was riot control. So we're going around, and um, we got this riot going on. It's pretty pretty normal. Nothing crazy's happening. And the RCO decides, well, let's amp it up a little bit, you know. Let's make it a little more um, crazy. So he makes the, the role players that are doing the riot, he makes them um, get a little more aggressive. And one of them goes to grab one of the Marine, one of the guys' a rifle. And if you know anything about, uh, about all that, you know that... Um, if somebody grabs your rifle, it instantly, you know, makes the civil situation just a lot worse. So he grabs the rifle, everybody pretty much just freaks out, and the the riot turns to hell. So during all that, uh, everybody's freaking out, and I end up getting a, well, through all, like, the craziness, my face ends up meeting a rifle butt. The butt of a rifle. Now, little did I know that it actually knocked out one of my teeth, uh, like cracked about, chipped like half of my tooth away, <clears throat> and I didn't really realize that. I, I felt it chip, but not as bad as it did. So we go back to the armory, and I'm sitting there, and I look in the window, and I see that half of my damn tooth is is gone. So after that, I go and um, I go to dental, and they're like, "All right, well, we'll." we'll put a filling in it and all that good stuff and they're like well you're gonna have to wait a couple days so I wait a couple days I go there and they're like oh well we're gonna have to do a root canal in it I'm like okay whatever it's, it's just a root canal so they do the root canal but then they leave it open right they don't do the whole root canal they said they'd finish it like two days later I'm like whatever you know what fine it's pretty painful um, but one day, like two days later, I wake up at like two in the morning. No, it was like five in the morning. So I wake up like five in the morning, just crazy pain on the side of my face. And I look in the mirror and my whole face is just swollen up. So I'm like, well, shit. So I go over to, uh, this other guy's room. I'm like, Hey, I need you to take me to the ER, obviously, because my entire face is swollen up. So he calls over to my sergeant and he's like, Hey, uh, me and this guy, we're not going to be coming into work because fucking his damn face is all kinds of messed up. And he's like, uh, okay. And so we go over to the ER and they're practically just like, uh, yeah, we can't do anything. But they put an IV in me anyway because, you know, why not? So they put an IV in me and they're like, you have to wait till dental opens. So I uh, spend the next couple hours just in a ton of pain. I go to dental, they're like, oh, well, <laughs> your whole mouth is all, uh, all uh, infected because of the fact that the, the tooth was left open. They said, uh, we're going to have to cut into it. So I'm like, okay, I wait like an hour. He finally gets to me. 
and they cut into my tooth, which actually wasn't too bad. So it was like a, a quick little pain. You know, that sharp pain of someone cutting into your gums. You know, that was over quick. What really hurt was when he stuck those little, that little tool. I don't know what it's called. They, um, it like spreads the, the flesh open when they make incisions. When he did that, like, oh my god, that was, that was probably like the worst fucking pain I've ever felt in my life. That was, I was kicking and it was crazy. It was, uh, not, not what you call pleasant. But yeah, so after that happened, I cut into it, sewed it back up, actually finished the root canal. And that is why I don't like the dentist. Um, it was really just not a pleasant experience for me at all. It was, it was terrible. Just absolutely awful. And after that, it was just like, yeah, I don't ever want to have to go to the dentist again. I ended up losing like half that tooth, like most of that tooth, for my front teeth in general actually, is uh, all filling because of that whole situation. And uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty upsetting. And that's why I kind of just uh, disliked going to the dentist, because after that it was just, I associated the dentist with just fucking terrible ass pain. And that's, that's how, that was the end of that, pretty much. I, uh, yeah, it was not fun. But anyway, yeah, you can kind of see this, this build coming into play here. Um, you can kind of see it taking form. Um, you can kind of see, like, the basic idea I want for it here. Going for it, just a really, that's a T-shape here. Really, really simple. And so, I'm not sure what I want to build next in the episodes to come. I'm thinking of make, putting a windmill up there. I think that'll look pretty pretty good. You doing this roof. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Done a lot of these um, these more arced higher roofs. Like I guess it's Nordic, more Nordic style. I don't know. I'm really liking the look of them. It's not a, it doesn't look as normal as the other roofs. Like your basic triangle shaped roof. Actually, while I'm here, I'll go ahead and bring that out. Go ahead and set the time today. <clears throat> it just gives your roofs a little more shape. It will make it more interesting. Make, especially like when you um, look at it from here. It makes the, I don't know, I just like the different sizes and shapes of the roofs. I know uh, it's like different people have different opinions, but I really like the fact that all the roofs like are sharing the same materials. I don't know. I like it. I've never really done that before, so I kind of like the way it looks. And when you think about it, Minecraft has come so far. Back from when I started playing, which was about six years ago. Like, you didn't, like, for one, you only had uh, full blocks. I think we had half slabs in the original. Like, the, and when I say original, I actually mean, like, the original, like, you played in the browser, browser classic Minecraft. That's uh, that's when I started playing. It's funny. Back when you could play without having to, having to buy Minecraft. That's a lot of people. A lot of people played, um, Minecraft, like the free version, classic. Not many people, like not all your people, had the um, the bet. I back then it was called beta. Not a lot of people had that when it first came out. A lot of people just stuck with um, Alpha or Classic, Classic as we used to call it, or the original build, I guess whatever you want to call it. It was good times though. Everybody was in like one like 512 by 512 block it's like world. You would just have a shit ton of worlds. I remember we had like oh well over like a hundred worlds that our our server we used to play on. All right. So let's go ahead and create our little balcony here. We're gonna do that here. Mm. So the floor is definitely gonna be here. So we'll bring this out to, <clears throat> and we'll place the full blocks like that. Get our trap doors. 
like so. That's a little trick if you guys don't know. You can place your trapdoors like that. And then cut off these right like that. Oh. And then what we can do is I'll place those there. I will grab fences. I'll line that with the fences. Actually, what we can do instead of those blocks is we can place upside down stair blocks and then have those stairs to support it. <clears throat> support it. Or, actually, instead of that, we'll go ahead, we'll make those full blocks and we will make these stair blocks. And then that looks a little better, I think. Could actually extend that to nah. Or we could place two upside down slabs. That looks yeah. I, I think I kind of like that look better. And then we'll place the fences on those two sides. And now just starts my favorite part: detailing. So we'll start by detailing the walls. And then I'll put two fences there. Actually, we need to finish this part of the roof here. Like that. And then bring that down. Like that to make it the same as the other side. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Bring this out to, like always. And make it double thick. We will go ahead and remove that. Place that there. And then we will place a window here. A window here. A window, a double window here. And a window here. We'll come around. Okay, we got those windows. We'll place a window here. I think we're going to go ahead and make a fireplace here, so we'll destroy this. We'll take these out. We'll place them with those. And then... Yes, we will bring this down like that. <clears throat> and then... Like that. up bring this up Make that hollow set the weather to clear and then okay weather okay change it there please and then what I'm gonna do bring that up to about there take the brick stairs And then I think we're going to come over here, take this chimney. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and make that a, <coughs> make this a full block. Like that, 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 about that high. Alrighty then. Then we'll come around here and we'll do some little bits of detailing. Boom, boom. And then we will go ahead and grab these slabs. And then we will put what we'll do is place these slabs there. Remove that, place two slabs there. That looks decent. Fence there. Extend this out. And then we will drop it down one and kind of just connect this over. Maybe. Maybe that'll look okay. I don't know yet. We will see. We will see. Mm. 
Nyeh. I don't really like that look. What we can do instead is kind of make that three high. Fill that in. And then maybe one fences up through there. Actually, yeah, I think we're gonna have to. What we're gonna have to do is extend it from here, and then make it go down one. Set the time today again. <coughs> This is all what detailing is, it's just playing around with different ideas, that's really all it is. Alrighty, I think that looks okay. And then what we'll do is place that, 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 and we'll make these a little walkway area like that. We will go ahead and get the so for this detailing right here. I think I'm going to do this, 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 and then that. We will place a fence there and there. And then search. We'll place a wall here, here, here. What we can also do. Okay, well, obviously, what we have to do is detail in here. So, boom, 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 boom full block there. And we'll go ahead and place three here. And then what we can do is make that too high. Put one there. Grab our half slabs. Place those there. Boom. What other trap doors do we have to work with? Mm. I'll use this one. See how that looks. Mm. I think that'll work. Okay, and what we're going to do is our last little step here is going to be to break up the textures, as I say a million times. Textures need to be broken because otherwise it just looks weird. So we'll come through here and we'll just start breaking up these textures. All right, so we got that. Go around to the side, we'll add some of these into the roof. Break these up. Break that up, break those two up, Put that one up. And then the cobblestone, like so. And then one thing you can do is kind of add some holes in there as well, like that. And you can do the same on this side. Every now and again, just adding some holes. Boom. Now we need to, what I'm going to do for this, is every other block. I haven't done this style in a while. We'll grab the slab again. Like that. And I do, I'm doing the half slabs here so you can kind of see the texture going in through the stone. If you can, if that makes any sense. they're clear again for the third time this video. Alright, now one thing I do think I can do is 
place those there. <clears throat> I think I'll go ahead and get rid of that like that. I think this part of the roof is a bit too bland, so I'm going to spice it up more. The dark wood, as well as over here as well. And we'll go ahead and do that throughout the house. I think that's um, that's about all we're going to do. Oh, one more missing touch. And that is to grab the smoke particles here. Now we have the wind blowing that way. Just got to make sure. I'm a stickler for details like that. So yeah, I like to just kind of place it kind of in this line to go in this way. And then break it up into plumes. Like that. And there you have it. And Kabushki, you have yourself a house. I know we didn't do that in interior, but um, I'm going to be doing that in like a big, big series. And that's about it for episode five. Stay tuned for episode six. I'm not sure what we're going to do yet, but um, it's definitely going to be interesting. I'm thinking about doing a windmill over there for episode six. So definitely stay tuned. Um, if you definitely, if you like this comment, go ahead and leave a like or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.